I just received uh, an email where somebody shared their story with me. A billion times worse than anything I've ever gone through. And the words were, why me? And it's, why not you? Why not me? This happened to the best of the best. And why did it happen to you? And why did it happen to me? And it's because we know what love is. We know the meaning of love. And we needed to experience this so we can understand there's always somebody that has a worse story than yours. What I'm doing, what I'm trying to speak up for is I know the pain I went through and I know I can't, no human being, I, I can't believe that I survived this. But I did. And it took so much work to be able to gain my sanity, to be able to communicate effectively so other people might be able to understand what it is I'm trying to say. And I kept that strength because I know that there's more people that have had it much worse than me. It was the thoughts all the time that if other people that are going through much worse than me can do it and survive, then I can. But when I do survive this, I will speak up for those who do not have a voice, for those that don't have computers, for those that are suffering on the streets, for those that are in snowbanks, frozen half to death, or just got beaten the crap out of by their parents and thrown outside. Those people can't speak. So why not you? Why not you experience the pain that you experience so that today, when the revolution comes up, you have a voice, you have power, you're not fighting for just yourself now. You're fighting because you feel the pain of everybody else that can't speak. It didn't happen to a better person. You know what to do with it. You know the way the world should be because you know clearly what it shouldn't be. We need to have a vision for the future. The vision is going to be coming from all of those why me. Because all of us why me's knows how to do it right. They are the ones that should be the next president. They are the ones that should be concerned about every person on the globe because they know how it's done. The ones that don't feel this pain don't know how to do the job. Clearly, look at the planet, it's falling apart. The only ones that know how to pull this out are the people that are saying why me. Why me? Because you're the best freaking people on the planet. It didn't happen to any the best people in the world. You know who you are now. You know you're the best of humanity. So now get your voice. And now speak, not just for yourself, but you speak. And you speak loudly for everybody else that doesn't have a voice. There's two-year-olds, there's three-year-olds, there's four-year-olds. There's so many freaking children that can't be saved because nobody's there saving them. There's the Angelina Jolene, you know, that have more money that they can adopt families. They have, you know, a louder voice with the UN that can say we need to focus on peace, not putting band-aids on every freaking problem and our eyes shut and oh I adopt a child and I aren't I a good person. Meanwhile they've got so many so much money all they're doing is hiring nannies and don't even have that one on one love bonding. Why me? Who else could it have happened to? It needed to happen to the best of the best. So now speak up. I am not alone. I don't want to be the only voice. Use your voice. Get on YouTube. Tell your story. But paint a picture of what it should be not all of the pain of what it was. Because if we focus on pain, we can tell 50,000 year stories. The pain needs to end and we need to focus on what it should be. So try and make balance with your stories. We need to hear the truth, but we also need good direction. Just a thought. Peace out.